Hello there, it's Samantha. Welcome back to my channel, or if you knew her, hi, my name is Samantha, as I just said. Welcome, I'm, I'm happy to have you here. If you want to stick around, you can click on the subscribe button and then you'll see me whenever I upload a video. But yes, I post videos here about books, in case you were not aware, by the name Samantha's Books. But I do sometimes do other stuff, and I'm actually about to go away on holiday, and I'm going to do a vlog of that, so that will be exciting. And I'm also moving to a completely different country in August, so there's going to be definitely some like study abroad vlogs while I'm there. So that's exciting. I'm moving to Mexico. But yeah, I'm moving to Mexico at the beginning of August. So I've got about two months left until I'm going, which is crazy. I have so much stuff to sort out. But because of that, I have not been buying a lot of books recently. Like I haven't bought a book in probably like six months until, until May. And then May happened and I just, there were a couple new releases that I wanted to get. Although one of them hasn't actually come out yet. So yeah, so there was one new release that I wanted to get, and then I also recently started reading a series which I've been meaning to read forever, which I'll talk about in the wrap-up, obviously. So I had to buy the next two books in the trilogy, obviously. So that's why I bought books, and yeah, I'm not gonna like start buying books like crazy because I just don't have the space to take them with me to Mexico, so it's not gonna happen. Anyway, but I haven't done a wrap-up in a while because I haven't really been reading a lot. In March, I only read two things and they were both for school, so they were super boring and I don't have a lot to say about them. And then in April, I didn't read anything at all. I was really busy in April, so I just didn't didn't read. I didn't post any videos, as you know. Basically, that's why there were no wrap-ups. But I really miss doing wrap-ups. Like, they're one of my favorite videos to film. I know some people, like, think that wrap-ups are just super generic, but I think it's a super easy way and efficient way to talk about all the books you read recently. Let's just get on into all the books. So I think I'm gonna start off by hauling the books, because that's easiest. The first book I have to show you, I actually got in March, but I didn't buy it. I received a book from my oldest brother. It was a Christmas present, but it took ages to get here. So it finally got here in March and it was The Bell Drawer by Sylvia Plath. And I don't currently have it with me because I packed up all of my stuff at uni, but I didn't bring it all back with me. I just like came home and then I left my stuff at university. So I left it there because I only brought back books with me that I was gonna read like right away. So I, that's why I don't have the book. He gave me The Bell Jar because he really enjoyed it and he thinks that I would enjoy it too. I don't really know anything about The Bell Jar because I've always heard of it, but I've never read it and like looked into it. The first book I have, is the bell jar, but I don't have it with me. So there's a photo. Anyway, next I had to buy the next two books in the trilogy, as I said, because I got the, I read the first book, finally, I finally finished it in May, and oh my god, it was so good, and I'm so sad that I've been sleeping on this series, but like, I knew I was gonna love it. The two books that I have to haul, they are Lord of Shadows by Cassandra Clare and Queen of Air and Darkness, also by Cassandra Clare. These are the second and third book in the Dark Artifices trilogy. And I finally read Lady Midnight in May. It took me long enough, didn't it? I bought it in 2016 when it came out and I just didn't read it, despite constantly saying, I'm gonna read it, I'm gonna read it, I'm gonna read it. And then I didn't, and then I finally did. <laughs> so yes, and then I had to pick up the next two books. I love them in paperback instead of hardback because they were like, half the price of the hardback ones. I'm just trying to be better about not caring that much if my series match. So I could always rebuy Lady Midnight in this paperback edition if I want to. At the moment, I just don't care. So I got them in paperback and it's fine. I'll talk about those more in the wrap up portion. And the last book that I bought was Serious Moonlight by Jen Bennett. I don't know what this book is about, really. I have actually started reading it, as you can tell by this little bookmark in it, but I love Jen Bennett's books. I've read two of her four books. This is her fourth, I believe, and her first one is Night Owls, and I own that, but it's in storage. If you've watched my channel a while, you'll know that a lot of my books are still in storage and have been for three years now. Um, it's a sad time. I want to be reunited. But yeah, I, I own Night Owls, but it's in storage and that I haven't read it yet, which is so annoying because I love Jen Bennett's books so much. I read Alex approximately last summer and I adored it. So I am instantly picked up Starry Eyes, which I think came out last year. And I read that also last summer and I really enjoyed that. Not as much as Alex approximately, but I still really enjoyed it. When I saw that this book was coming out, I was like, add it to my Amazon cart and pre-order that. So obviously I did. I think it's going to be a fun time. So I'm looking forward to reading this, but I'm currently reading something else, which I need to finish first before I dive into anything else. So this was all the books that I bought or received in the last while. It's so crazy to me that I just haven't bought any books in such a long time, but um, yeah, I haven't. So there you have it. In May, I managed to read five books, which I'm pretty excited about. So the first book that I read in May was, of course, Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare. And oh my God, 
I loved this book. This book was so much fun. I really loved being re-immersed in this world. It had been such a long time because I have not reread the whole of the Mortal Instruments series. I reread books one to four back in 2016, I think, and that was the last time I read any Mortal Instruments book. I've never reread the Infernal Devices, and I first read those in 2015. No, 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 no. That's a lie. No, that is a lie. I haven't reread anything, any Shadowhunter book since 2015. 15 and I first read the books in 2014. So yeah, it's been a really really long time since I've been in that world and obviously I've read the Tales from the Shadowhunter Academy book novellas but that was in 2016 as well so it's been a really long time since I've been in this world and I've had so much fun being back in it. I really really enjoyed this book and I thought it was a fantastic start to the trilogy and so far it's my favorite book in the trilogy actually. I ended up giving it a 5 out of 5 stars which I think is unsurprising although I would think originally I put 4.5 on Goodreads but I think I've changed it to of five in my head. I thought it was so action-packed. I didn't see the twist coming about there's a villain and I didn't see it coming. Well actually in my notes I say that I've got given it 4.5. So yeah I think I'm settling on 4.5 for it because I loved it. I loved the new characters that it got interest, introduced to. I especially love Christina and I also really love the younger Blackthorns. So basically not Julian but also I love Mark as well. So yeah never mind scratch that. I just don't love Julian that much. The reason why I didn't give this a full five stars is because honestly I don't love Emma and Julian that much. I do really like Emma actually. Julian I think I just don't know. There's just something about him that I'm like I don't like you that much. That's why I didn't give it a full five stars was because Julian is just like not my fave and then them together I'm like I don't like this that much. Yeah, essentially I didn't give it a full five stars because I just don't love Julian that much. It's just all in all so much fun to be back in this world and I really really enjoyed it and I think it's really well done as well. Definitely a 4.5 out of 5 stars for this one and I'll talk about the rest of the series soon. The next book that I finished in the month finally was I finally finished listening to the audiobook for Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. I don't know how long I've been listening to this audiobook for but for a long time but this is my favorite book in the Harry Potter series I think so obviously I gave it five or five stars and I loved it and I cried again. Every time I read this book I cry. I basically started rereading the Harry Potter books again in January so yeah I just reached number four. I haven't started listening to number five yet because it's my least favorite so I don't like listening to it that much but I think I will probably soon probably when I'm back from my holiday which I'm going on next week. I'm going to Berlin in Prague. Yay. The next book that I read is one of the books that I've owned the longest and I finally finished it but it's actually a collection of novellas and that is The Bane Chronicles by Cassandra Clare, Sarah Reese Brennan, and Maureen Johnson and I ended up giving this collection a four out of five stars. I originally started reading this like as soon as I bought it I think. I really enjoyed the first story so that put me off reading the rest of them. I don't know why. I really enjoyed this and I loved finding out more about some of the characters which I know are going to come up in the new series that she's about to write and then also some of them have come up in the Dark Artifices as well. So I just like, it's definitely good background knowledge to have. Also Magnus Bane is just like one of the most hilarious and just amazing characters ever. I just love him so much. So I really loved hearing more about his adventures before we know him as we know him now. This was definitely a really fun time but there were some stories which I didn't love as much as others so I ended up giving it a four out of five stars. The next book that I finished in the month of May was Lord of Shadows by Cassandra Clare. I'm not going to talk about this one in depth obviously because it's a sequel. I might make a discussion video about all three books like in one video um, after I finished reading Queen of Air and Darkness but I'm not sure yet. It depends how fresh everything still is in my mind when I get back from my holiday. So we'll see. I really enjoyed this one as well. Some of this book took place in the London Institute which was really cool to be back there again. Also I live in London so like they went to some places and I was like I know that. So yeah that was really cool for me to read and I did really enjoy this and I loved the development of some of the characters that we saw but the ending of this book angered me. It literally made me so mad. So I only ended up giving this a four out of five stars because the ending just pissed me off. And also I did think that at times it was a little bit slow. There was like a lot of focus on developing relationships. Which like I understand like the thing about the Shadowhunter books is that they're like sort of like a mix of they've got like contemporary feel to them because there's so much focus on relationships and friendships and stuff like that and in these books there's also lots of emphasis on family but then also you know it's got the fantasy aspect so like they are just going to be like longer books but it felt a little bit too long but I still really enjoyed it obviously but it was like 
not my fave, so I only gave it four out of five stars. Okay, my camera battery is dying, so I need to make this quick. But the last book that I finished in May was Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This is my second book by her. The first one I read was the Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, which I read back in January. And I loved that book so much. And one of my favorite things about the book was her ability to make the characters feel so real. And she definitely managed that again in this book. If you don't know what this book is about, somehow this book basically follows this rock band called Daisy Jones and the Six and how they formed and how they eventually fell apart and just everything and it's really interesting because it's told in interview format so I think especially reading it it would be a really quick read but I actually listened to the audiobook because it's a full cast audiobook and I had just heard so many people raving about how fantastic this book was and I did really enjoy this book but it just didn't have like the same magic that Evelyn Hugo had with me where I was just like totally enthralled and like I just loved Evelyn Hugo so much whereas with this one I was just like I did really enjoy it and the characters did feel so real and I did really care for them by the end of the book but throughout the book I didn't care for them that much and to be honest the two main characters irritated me a bit and the main focus of it was on them rather than the rest of the band which kind of annoyed me because there were other characters who I would have liked to learn a lot more about but we didn't get to see them as much. That definitely made me enjoy it a little bit less. I still ended up giving it a 3.5 out of 5 stars and I did really enjoy the book and I definitely think I'll listen to it again at some point in the future and maybe I'll have a greater appreciation for it but just at this point in time it was just a 3.5 so my camera died right when I was saying that and I don't have much else to say so I'm not gonna go and replace the battery so I'm just gonna film the rest of this video on my phone. I'm sorry about that. So if it's shaky, saws. But yes, so I really enjoyed Daisy Jones and the Six and I think I would reread it in the future. But at this point in time, it just wasn't my favorite thing in the world. And I do kind of get, I get the hype. Like I, I can see why a lot of people would love it. It just wasn't for me personally. Like I didn't love it, but I did really enjoy it. So I ended up giving it a 3.5 out of 5 stars. And in the month, I also started reading Queen of Air and Darkness, of course, and I'm on page 106. Definitely don't think I'm gonna get it finished before June, but it's fine. So those were all of the books that I bought slash read in the month. Let me know what you guys read down below. I'd love to know. If you've read any of the same books as me, please let me know your thoughts down below. I'd also love to know. But that's all that I have for today's video, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give a thumbs up. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe down below, and I will hopefully have another video up for you very soon. So I will see you then. Bye!